Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to make a video explaining a little bit about your VTEC solenoid and how to test it. And uh, and here we go. So, this is your VTEC solenoid. It usually bolts up on the side of your motor like this, and this will be the up position. So, if you want to test it, it's pretty easy. Um, you just disconnect the cable here. And uh, you want to have uh, between 14 and 30 ohms between this connector and the ground of the body. So you just get yourself an ohm meter, set it to ohms. Um, if you want, you can uh, ground out your leads to see if there's any resistor in your line there. Take that into consideration. And then uh, you just hook up one lead to the center pin there, and then just ground it to the body. And in this case, I'm getting 15. And uh, again, uh, see if you can see that. So it should be between 14 and 30. So if you're in there, your VTEC should be good. A um, couple of notes on here. If you're going to change your gaskets while it's on the engine, break loose all your bolts. It'll be a lot easier. And uh, there, there's just some gaskets in here. Like here's an old gasket I got that goes on the base here. It'll leak often. If you see it leaking from your engine, uh, it's probably going to be this gasket. Uh, this one's probably good, but if it's old, it's probably brittle. You just, like I said, while it was on the engine, break these loose, and then you can take this apart. And there's another gasket similar to this inside here, and you just, you know, replace it. Um, they are a little expensive. Uh, you could, I'd recommend trying to get them from your Honda dealer if you can afford it, because they'll fit really nice. Um, when you put these bolts back on and bolt it to your engine, just realize that the torque's not very high on this. It's only like 8.7 uh, foot-pounds, and uh, her 20... Uh, 20 newton meters or tw excuse me 12 newton meters if your torque wrench can do newton meters uh, so it's a very low um, low torque on these and I see a lot of people breaking these bolts because they're way over torquing them like I said eight eight point seven foot pounds there um, that's about it that there is for the VTEC it's pretty simple if you'll notice on mine um, there's supposed to be a connector here mine's broken I got to take this off and and replace that um, but as far as uh, that's pretty much all there is to it and so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and uh, if you like this video maybe give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe you'll see more videos as they come out thank you for watching